very popular beverage company under fire over some shocking comments made during an online training seminar. Coca-Cola employees there were reportedly urged to be less white. And this is in order to combat racial discrimination as part of the company's alleged diversity training course. Joining us now to discuss is A.J. Swinson, Chief of Staff of New Journey PAC. Good to see you, A.J. Thanks so much for coming on. Help us understand this report. How do you be less white? And, and, and uh, uh, what did you read from it? You know, reading this, I can't imagine if I had a child in school who was being taught to be less of who you are and that everything that you are is bad. So being white is everything that's negative in the world. It's hurting other people. Um, that's a really racist idea. If you were to put a headline to say, D be less black, you know, people will be rioting in the streets. And although I don't think they're necessarily equal statements, I do think that it's a really dangerous idea to teach young white kids. It's almost as if you're teaching them self-hate. And it seems as if because black people feel for so long, a lot of these anti-racists feel, oh, well, America taught us to hate us. So we want to teach white people to hate themselves. That's the way it appears to be to me. It, you're, you're not alone on that. Many feel that way. And again, we showed pictures of the slide, okay, that, that was leaked. And I'm going to read some of it of how to be less white. This was imposed of, of how to do so, the tips. Be less arrogant. Be less certain. Uh, be less defensive. Be more humble. Listen. Believe. Break with apathy. And break with white solidarity. Uh, again, there it is, the screen grabs on your screen. Uh, part some people would argue that just, um, you know, try to be a better person, right? Some of these are the traits of just simply being a better person, not necessarily about how your, your skin color. Yes, I mean, this um, Black History Month, we should be focusing on the words of Martin Luther King, not to judge people by the color of their skin. This reminds me of the recent scandal that happened at the African American Museum here in D.C., where they put up all these things saying, this is white supremacy, being on time, being polite, um, using grammar, you know? So honestly, I think that this would be most detrimental, although it's harmful to white kids, I think this is most detrimental to black kids because they're being taught that from a young age that white people are only seeking to oppress them. This is only going to feed disunity and it's not going to help bring our country together. These guys are feeding the seeds of a civil war and they are going to cause so much disunity in our next generation. We're going to have leaders in this country in the next generation who think that whiteness is bad and being a minority is better and that they have to deal with this guilt and carry this burden that they themselves did not create. Um, and so although I believe we should teach the history of slavery, that doesn't mean we should teach that all white people are inherently oppressors. That's just false. Yeah, I'm facing a lot of backlash over it because what it's doing is it's stereotyping white people. So if, if you listen to it, white people must be arrogant, white people are too certain, white people are defensive and are not humble enough. Um, and we're, it, it's simply just, just move, moving a, a position that we don't agree with to a, a different side, but it's not getting rid of it in its entirety. And it got pointed, I believe it got pulled. Um, but it, I, either way, I, I want to ask you about this next topic as well, uh, another sensitive topic. President Biden implying that minorities don't know how to use the Internet when signing <laughs> up to get their COVID vaccines online. Here's that. The, uh, the other part, portion is a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts, know how to use, know how to get online to determine how to get in line for that COVID vaccination. The president made the remarks some viewed as insensitive during that town hall event on CNN last week. Um, I'm curious what you made of the comments because he, he points out only um, um, African-Americans uh, and Hispanic minorities and inner city, very specific communities that wouldn't know how to operate the Internet, AJ. Um, this is a word to Joe Biden and liberals 
uh, black and Hispanic people go to Walgreens. We use the internet. Um, you know, this is the paternalistic view that the liberals have of minorities. We need to take care of them. We need to provide for them. They can't figure out how to go online. Oh, no. You know, this is really depressing for me. It, all that African Americans have done in this community, President Donald Trump said, that black people built this country. And he talked about the black contribution to America. What do we have on the reverse from Joe Biden? Oh, we need to help black people. Black and Hispanic people need us. They don't know what they're doing. He's made so many comments that show his true feelings about black people. He said, oh, poor kids can be as smart as white kids. I mean, the list goes on of all the different dumb things that he said. The former governor of New York, Mario Cuomo, called him the dumb blonde of the party. But I don't just think that it's because he has mental issues. I think this is a literal feeling that he has towards black people. When we look at his comments over the years, they have just, they stacked up. And it doesn't look good for Joe Biden. And no black person should think that he cares about their needs or that he is truly in their corner. And he can talk about equity and all these other catch words that uh, liberals are using right now, but he doesn't care. And he, see, he thinks less of us than he does of white people, and that's a fact. These are sensitive topics. So I, when I tell you thank you, I sincerely mean that, A.J. Swinson, for coming on and, and, and shedding light on this, because it does need to be talked about. Uh, all, all it sides does. Of it. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. All right, take care.